Hi, hello everyone, Roby here, and for this video, this is going to be a guide on how to level up alts if you're interested in making builds. Um, the main reason, well, one of the primary reasons as to why I'm making this video is because one, to help those who are looking into leveling up alternate characters pretty quickly, but also because um, I've seen a couple of comments made by folks who accuse me of hacking and of um, glitching or I don't know exploiting whatever it is I don't know what, it, what whatever the, the minds come up with um, that I'm not doing this legit and so that's what this video is for today to show you guys how to do it it's relatively simple and straightforward now for those who accuse me of this because you do not have enough imagination to come up with ways to make this work doesn't mean others can't so this video is for you guys okay and so um, that's so we'll go ahead and get started anyways um, now, one of the first things you want to do is, as, as expected, you make a new character. Now, in order for this to work, it's very important that certain things are done first. Now, this guide is not for those who are starting the game for the very first time. This is for anyone who already has a main character that's completed the main story as it is right now during early access, which means you've gotten access to the, uh, you got to the vault, you can open it, you got the quest that led you to be able to unlock the, um, the crucible in the main summary. Now, once you have that unlocked, because, and the reason as to why that is important is because that is what I use to level up my characters pretty quickly. Now, not just that though, the other reason is because when you create a new character and you use existing wall save, you spawn on the beach. But the cool thing is that because you're using the same wall save, the path from the beach to town is relatively straightforward. You just have to dodge a few enemies. Uh, while uh, now you notice on the top right hand side it says deadly and that's fine if you die a few times that's fine you just spawn and just try to get to town now uh, once I get to town I'll go ahead and further explain a few other things that needs to have been set up before you start this process itself now I'll go ahead and start and I apologize I'm rushing through this I'm trying to keep the video short um, now we're gonna bait this guy over here to chase after us now you didn't call for the bait, we'll get him to come with bait. Okay, there we go. Now you also want to make sure make sure you're watching your there we go. Now remember you're staminizing there's a dog right there. There we go, just dodged him. Oh a wolf actually. That's what the game calls the wolves. Now the reason that's why I'm taking this path is because of my uh, main game, this path the path that I normally take is blocked off. And that happens especially if you've gotten the um, NPC that sells, that cooks. So I'll go from here, jump down. Now you want to keep my uh, keep track of how much stamina you have because you need it for dodges and stuff like that. So we're just we're gonna run through here. It's gonna be an archer up here. We're gonna skip to the side here to dodge his arrows. Now wait here once you're past him because there's gonna be an enemy here. Let's see. Oh, wow, my luck. The game spawned a wolf for me, but it's easy though. You just dodge it. Get past here, and you're home free. So from here, just go up to the checkpoint over here, or the wisp over here. You tap on it, and it can fast travel to Sacrament. So that's the first part that needs to be done on your new character. Now, once you're back in, once you're in Sacrament, you want to go all the way up to your house, whichever of the three homes you purchased. I purchased the one that is closest oh, to where the vendors are, which is this one here. You want to go in. Now, once you go in, there are a few things I need to walk you guys through. Um, well, so the first thing here is that, like I said, your main character has to have prepared a few things for you. Now, I have a chest dedicated to items I use for leveling new characters, which is this one right here. And you notice that the items I have in here, they're items that my main character leveled up, but they're all level 1 or level 11 items. And so I'll go ahead and take everything out from here because I'm going to use every single thing in here. Okay. And so I saw this a simple level 1 item that I can buy, you can purchase from the smith. Uh, you can level it up. The reason as to why I'm using 2, uh, the reason why I'll be using 2 is that 1 is used to buff my thorns damage. While the other has my um, fire throw, I believe that I use for leveling. Now, um, you don't have to use these this exact same weapons or the setup I have. You can use any weapons you're comfortable using. Um, I know a lot of people are comfortable using dual daggers because of how fast it is. You can have it. Now, um, in terms of gear of choice, um, I use cloth. You can use leather, 
mesh plate as long as you're comfortable using it. The prime reason as to why I use cloth is to help with my dodges, my evasion. It being fast, it's more of like a dash. I need that for survival to get our Hamzer pretty quickly. Now, uh, one of the other things you notice I also picked up here is Iker, Experience Potions, and Fallen Ember. All this is stuff your main character should be getting from, should have gotten from running Crucible. Um, if you haven't run Crucible, your main character, um, and the reason why is, um, I suggest Crucible is because these items drop frequently in the Crucible. Uh, while well, your mileage may vary per run, though, um, I've been in runs where I only got like one or two Experience Potion. And I've been in I've been in runs where I got as much as eight experience potion in that run. So it just it, it's RNG. That's essentially what RNG is. If the RNG god is in your favor, then you get more stuff from it. You also get fallen ember while playing the game while your main character or while you're running crucible. The same thing when it comes to plague Icar also. The reason I saw I'm using plague Icar here is because I need to unlock two ring slots and also one main hand slot. Uh, because I'll be using three rings here. The reason as to, as to why you see more experience potions here, I actually took too much anyways from the box, is because I'll be using experience potions to get from level 1 to level 11 so that I can equip other items I have here that I use for leveling. For instance, let's see, where is it? These two items here that are level 11. Okay. And let me put some XP potions back. I took too much. I only need a few. Um, drop this back. Now, um, I'll say I'll drop most of this back. Let's say seven of those. Okay, that should be enough, I think. So now I'm going to chuck through the potions. That's level five. Level seven. Nine. Ten should be next door. And let's see if this will get us to. Nope, it won't get us to 11, so I'll have to grab more. Okay, so I might need just one more. There we go, now I'm level 11. Now I can go ahead and, um, what am I doing? I can go ahead and equip stuff. Now you notice I can equip all the armor, but I can't equip all the rings yet. Now, one of the other things I also explained in, in the comments uh, um, in other videos for those that accuse me of is that um, of cheating and stuff like that is that while you're lovely, you want to take advantage of every single thing that can boost how much experience you get. And, um, for starters, this rings, the golden band, provide experience gained. I'm, I'll be running three during this round, during this example here. The other thing also is that some pieces of gear, you uh, when you purchase them and then you enhance them from the lady, you have a chance of rolling experience gain on it. So you want to have that on as much gear as you can also. And so once you tack on a bunch of that, you'll be getting a lot more XP than I normally would. Okay. Now the next thing here is to go ahead and use Iker for this. Oh, let me throw the startup foot away. Just use Iker and for this, I'll be running over to the guy on the roof. Like I said, uh, my goal here is to keep the video short and not as long as I normally am. I'm already at the 8 minute mark and I still oh, have a good amount of things to walk you guys through. So, from here, Why kill men for just free? run over to, to the guy on the top of the tower there. In my world, I have completed the town project, so I have the lift enabled or the elevator unlocked or enabled or constructed, whichever word you want to use. And so from here, I will just get to him real quick. Chug down some eco bottles. Give it here. Within this unlock item. the um, ring slot and also the main hand slot. Wonderful. Give it here. Within I wish there was a little more pizzazz in um, drinking that stuff. Drinking the Icar. But yeah, so there we go. Second ring slot unlocked. Now we're going to unlock the main hand slot. Wonderful. Give it to within this icon. Uh, trying to keep it under 10 minutes long. I'm already at 9, 40, 9 minutes and 49 seconds. Okay. So now we have that unlocked. We can go and equip rings now. The remaining rings. And my second main hand. 
which is this one here. Okay. Now the reason I'm using my second man, like I said, because I'm using it as a boss stick for thorns and pulse of health if I need it. Now from there, um, the only thing left to do is to go to Crucible and start leveling up. Now for those who are not comfortable with, oh, I still need to assign uh, my attribute points for getting to level 11. For those who are not comfortable running Crucible, um, what you do is after you've assigned your points, equip your gear, you can go ahead and create oh, a new um, realms, uh, a new realm. Jump in there with this character, with the gear, and just blaze or j and just speed through the story itself. Um, you'll get a lot of XP from it too. Now, for those who are comfortable going to the crystal, oh, this say. is this is where we continue. We'll go from down this way. I'm sure most of you know how to get to the crystal, anyways. We we'll go past the fountain, down the fountain. Oh. Why? We'll just keep on running. Wait, did I grab flasks? Did I? Did I? No, I did not grab flasks. Ah, it's all good. Anyways, I'll go through the food um, food types you should be using and also the flasks you, be sh you should be using before I end the video. So this is where the crucible is. Before I go in there, I'm going to apply um, stat points. Now the stat points I'm we're applying here will be stat points that every single build will need. Uh, you need points in health, you need some points in stamina, some points in focus, some points in equip load. So I'll start with equip load just to get me under that weight class. For focus, I usually start with 5 to see how much stamina 5, health 10. Okay, so I still have enough and I'll go into some more focus. There we go. And I'll go for my health, why not? Okay, so now I have 101 health. I'll apply it. I have 75 points in stamina, or 75 stamina points. My stamina regen is just 33, my focus is 273, and focus, uh, focus gain from gear is 58, and my armor is a measly 215 because I'm using cloth armor. And those are my resistances there, my poise is just laughable too, and that's my weight class right there. And so, um, this is the gear I'm wearing, okay, and now, uh, you also notice I'll quickly go through the gear. I will elaborate on the attributes in the gear. Or you can pause the video at each point to see what I have. And like I said, um, it doesn't have to exactly what I have here. Um, what I have here is based on how I normally run um, my alts. Okay, and so that's it. Now, the other important part here that I need to go walk you guys through before I end the video, because I'm already at a 12 minute mark now, is the food types you want to use when you're running Crucible on, on a low level character. Um, so you need so what I normally run is I run food that can give me buffs lengthy buffs for instance um, the sirloin platter um, Gives increases health by 45 points for 600 seconds, which is 10 full minutes And I also have one for uh, This is health by yeah health by 600. There we go. Oh This on a health. Oh, I must have missed. Okay. Anyways, it's probably in at home somewhere now, so this one's health. I forgot to grab the one that increases my focus, but as I know, I incre increases focus by 600, uh, by 100 points for 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. I'll run and show you that real quick. For those who are not from there, what that food type looks. I apologize, I must have picked the wrong stuff. In my rush to keep the video short. So I'm just gonna run by back real quick. Why do we do this? Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. And I'm running and running and running and running and running. Almost there. Ba, 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 ba. This island oh, will be almost this way. So when go. will Ellsworth deal with Darlock once and all? I could have sworn I took everything from the chest. Let me check again. So yeah, that's one for health. And that's the wrong one there. That's just for regular focus. That's for stamina. Did I use it all up? And I have to fill the box back up. If I've used it all up, that's fine. Yeah, it's not in this box. Yeah, that's fine. So remember, um, you want to use the one that um, you want to use this one here. I'll press use. Increase my health points. I can set my 146 health because you need as much of a health buffer as you can. And then you also, I usually apply the one for a stem, which is this one here, but that's only for 60 seconds, doesn't last as long. 
But the one you also want to apply, which is very important, is one that increases your focus by 100 points. Okay. Now, once you have that, let's go back real quick to the crucible. I apologize for making this longer than it should. But um, you get where we're going with this. For those who are familiar with the crucible, you go to that location there. You enter the uh, masonry. Uh, masonry, sorry. Oh, 15 minutes. I need to end the video soon. It's getting long. Nobody watches long videos anyways. <laughs> and so uh, we'll, we'll go all the way up here. Just enter the masonry. You just run all the way down the stairs. Um, you've unlocked the crucible already. You should be familiar with how this works. You go in there with, and this is what you'd be using there. You'd be using the fallen ember. Where you make a sacri um, you make a blood sacrifice on the altar with the ember and um, by slitting your wrists. It's this chamber here. There you go, you pour it in there, and that's it. And so essentially what you're doing here is you want to take it slow and steady while I while you're in here. Oh, I wish I could have met him. It's gonna go ahead and start. This is gonna go down. We want to take it slow and steady while you're in here. Because remember, remember enemies here hit like a like a truck. So um, you wanna apply all the necessary buffs. I'm missing a buff already, which is for my focus. I also do not have any flask on me because I usually like to start with a full focus bar because of the ability that I use in here. And so I'll try, I'm probably going to get killed because I'm, I'm starting this encounter with no focus and without an extended focus bar. But I'll still give it a shot anyways. But just to show you guys, so here, here's the, here's one of the enemies here. And you kill him. Okay, that's that one. Ooh, almost fell there. Good recovery on my part. guys are a pain to deal with because they like to teleport a lot. While I'm in here, I also loot chests also because um, nothing's, you get, um, everything I need, I get it from Crystal. Okay, and that's that one there. And that's it guys, and so this is what I do with the XP buff I get from gear, from these rings. From these rings over here, I run through crystal multiple, multiple times just to gain XP. Uh, one of the other things you might also want to do and take advantage of is the, um, the bounty boards that I have in town, because those also reward good XP. And that's it really, uh, whenever I do this run, um, I'm able to level, it up, level up a character by running Crucible, just back to back like that. Um, in total, it takes me from 6 to 7 hours to get a character from level 1, well in this case level 11, all the way to level 30. And that's how I do it guys, uh, with that, uh, Roby out, happy gaming everyone, peace.